your generic greetings. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome back to Prison Architect. <sighs> Send help. <sighs> Don't worry, I've still got a call. It's not that bad, but um, there will be sniffles. So in the previous episode of Prison Architect, we managed to get this right-hand side cell block slash law security prison almost all completed. As you can see, we've got the kitchen, the canteen, visitation, and the majority of this was just cloned over from the left. So in this episode, we need to finish off things like the shower, we need to get all of the water in, and basically receive some prisoners. Obviously, patrols are going to have to be set and all of that sort of thing as well. Now, the big difference between this and this one in terms of its, um, well, in terms of its construction status, obviously it is not finished. However, we also haven't got any family cells at the top there, so we're going to sort of, um, I don't know if we want to risk it. I think we should build at least a part of the nursery and a couple of family cells. I think that would be quite a decent idea. So let's just build right at the back here and we'll place in two extra bits of wall there. We'll go over to the jail door and shove that right in the centre and then we'll do the cloning as well. So... It's currently on max speed. Uh, we do have intake open for normal security, but just not minimum yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what will happen is that the... Uh, look at all the trucks. <laughs> a lot of these are just like shop goods and things like that, so it's taken quite a while to get moved from one place to the other. But anyway... <clears throat> Excuse me. Good grief. I shouldn't really be doing this, but uh, needs must. Um, so yeah, as I said, we've got people arriving and uh, the trucks arriving and such, and they'll going to come down and um, deliver all these things like books and cabbages and whatever has to be uh, read or eaten and um, you know <clears throat> hopefully in that order. Uh, we've also got some prisoner buses here turning up so we've got one of the buses because there's only one person and in terms of informants or gangs uh, whoever's there they are not either. Um, in terms of gangs though I noticed that we do have one less of the other coloured gang member either uh, red or green but we do have one blue member so we've got one of each now we've collected the full set so um, still no leaders or lieutenants, so that's a good thing. Either way, you can see that the truck is coming along and we'll drop off our new prisoner. So that's uh, Alexandra Howell. There we go. Welcome here. So um, we need to, as I said, finish off the shower. It's taking the workers quite some time. We don't currently have any automatic door openers, which is the main problem, I think. So let's go to utilities, door control system, and we'll place that right next door there. Also, while we're here, we'll place a CCTV monitor on the right-hand side. And then finally, a... I think a phone tap on the left there as well. Just double checking the power grid. You can see that both power grids are perfectly fine and acceptable, so that's good. Um, once these have been placed in, which I'm actually going to prioritise the working of those, just so we can get the automatic doors done, it just means it's going to be a lot easier. Also, CCTV um, is almost up and running. We just need to place the monitor, which is being delivered here. There we go, that's getting placed now. So let's go over to utilities and to connections, and we will connect up the door control servos first. So one, two, three, four, and then five, and then finally there's one up here, but we actually haven't got that placed yet, so there we are, that's fine. Once again, we'll do the same thing on the phone tap, so the phone taps will go all the way along from here, and I think I have to retrofit the other phone tap as well, because I don't think I did the phones on the right-hand side. Let me just double-check here. Connections... And, oh, it looks like I did, so that's fine. And then finally over to connections, and then we'll connect up the CCTV monitor to the cameras. And there should be a total of six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that is correct. And there we are. So that'll give us good line of sight. In terms of money, we've got nine grand. However, we are losing 5,000 a day, and that's mainly because of the of the loans i think let's just go over to our um policy here not policy sorry grants and you see yeah five thousand a day is how much we are how much we are losing <clears throat> that's not good and obviously definitely not sustainable so the majority of the of this is still planned just not yet built we haven't got any electricity nor do we have any water so let's run the water right up the top here and we'll run it uh, to about there doesn't really matter if it's not exactly bang on but um yeah now it is <laughs> there we are and obviously electrical cable will also have to do the same now the problem with that is i don't know where we're going to place it actually i am sort of aware we just need to follow roughly what it says on the left there um to about there that's fine I'll do the same on the other side, and this should connect the majority of this up um, to about, where is it, there, uh, there, like so, and then we will connect that up like that, 
and then it runs straight down to there and then technically across if we're following the exact same plan which we don't need to but we'll do that and then we know that everything is connected oh, well apart from the laundry on the left hand side because we haven't got a direct connection to that yet but we will resolve that by doing that and then obviously a water pipe will need to go across as well although is that how it's went yes it has went right across there looks like we do have an overdose there and they have been treated straight away which is good um if we go down to our programs do we have pharmacological treatment to drug addiction yes we do one passed on that one there we are we have alcohol alcoholics group we have parole hearing we have spiritual guidance workshop safety no and uh, behavioral therapy is three in the queue i would like to start that but it's probably going to cost us too much uh kitchen safety and hygiene it says 13 are interested with 15 finished so we can keep running that foundation education and general education there's not much interest for those okay i'm going to stop those for now because We'll have to redo them anyway once these prisoners turn up, so we'll have to account for that. Looks like the pipe's being placed. There we go. Um, speaking of pipe work, we do need to run some pipe work into here. Like so. It is currently sleep time. I think once everybody's got back to the cells, we will do another shakedown. It's been quite a number of days, a couple of days before we've done that. Uh, today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. So, looks like also the janitors were delivering some uniforms to the prisoners, even at night. Interesting. That's a big shakedown, isn't it? <laughs> Four, oh, sorry, 540 places in total to shake down and search. And that is even... Uh, a lot of this new stuff which you can still have contraband in and around here it's very unlikely it's going to be around here but you can get contraband in the shop and in the kitchen it generally gets smuggled in with the bacon or whatever you get a uh, no like pills stashed in a lynx bottle or something like that also got some books there to search as well with the with the prisoners turning up, hopefully, this episode, I can't see why it wouldn't be. It's probably not unreasonable to assume that we're not going to be in... I wouldn't say in profit, but hopefully not negative. I'll settle for not negative. <laughs> There's no other grants we can get, sadly. Yeah. If we get to about even, um, basically, as soon as we get the arrivals, I will go ahead and pay off as much loan as I can and that should hopefully balance the books um, I'm gonna stop the shake down there because it's shower time and everything's just collapsing so we're just gonna wait there we are gonna get some intake here we got four normal security prisons that means that some more people have been released reoffending rate is up to 11% now punishment has gone back up to five reform six security one health zero even though we do have or we have had three deaths in custody two from the overdose here due to a staffing issue and one due to um, an overdose of Shank, I think it was, uh, in the in the canteen, so, yeah. So, let's check out our new prisoners who are getting searched at the moment. Got to informants, we can see that there are two traits, but no gangs, so we'll have to see if that's um, a problem. I'm just going to double check to make sure there's no other traits that I should be worried about. I mean, there's some traits, but nothing to... Nothing to get in a twist over, really. So, utilities are getting placed, walls are getting placed, doors, etc. Skillet is still going to take quite a while for them to get the majority of this set up, which is strange. I don't know why. How many workers do we have? We have a total of 16 workers, so it should be a lot faster than it is now. Interesting. I wonder what the majority of them are doing. Actually, probably taking stuff from the deliveries. Yeah, we're taking some deliveries. Oh, and also, that doesn't have an automatic door opener. Um, that would probably be a decent thing, wouldn't it? Door servo there, there, and there. I think that would be a decent choice. It just means that uh, we'll speed things up a little bit. So we'll put it on what servo? Oh, should we also put one? We've also got one on there. I'll put it on this first one. It doesn't really matter which one it's on because, quite frankly, if any prisoners have got to this point here and smashed that door servo 
control open. All the doors open anyway, so... I mean, if they've got to that point, it's already sort of too late, isn't it? <laughs> when you think about it. So there and there. And that should hopefully speed up the movement around the facility. Because now all of the main entranceways from deliveries up to wherever should be now complete. And um, yeah, it looks like the case. Oh, that, that, look at that. That's still in the game. Six years! Uh, and it's still there. So this person is trying to get through that jail door to do that. Um, but they're needing the door to be opened. Oh, because it's door. To be fair, they were placing on there. Okay, I'll give them that. <laughs> if it was just to go around, then that would be um, a bit uh, crazy, wouldn't it? So, we now have lighting in this place, which is good. We do not have any water, which I will now resolve, like so. We'll run some water up here, and I think it was just connected at the middle, was it? I believe so, like that, yeah. And then we want to connect these up, so we can go... I don't know what the best way to do it is. I think across like that, and then just put like a T piece in, and that should be acceptable. I think so. I think so. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. Um, just gonna go over to planning and uh, remove a lot of this planning in the center here because we don't need that. Nor do we need this end piece here, and those we do. We don't need that end piece there, and that should be about right. Most of those are set to open. Uh, that doesn't say we have any people there. If we've got deployment. Yeah, what a surprise. That's all set to uh, not be correct. Um, however, that should be fine. Yes. Luckily, the the game didn't bring anyone into here because the entrance ways were set to uh, Minsec only, so it's not classed as a legal room for those to uh, go through. Just going to set the office in the infirmary up for uh, access only. The morgue will be set to staff only. And then it's just the remainder of the utilities, I think. Um... Oh, yeah, that's, that's why it's not done that. There we are. So, we haven't got any solitary, we haven't got any holding cells, uh, okay, I think we just set up patrols and then we deal with it. So, guards in parole, guards in kitchen, uh, guard patrols will go around the canteen, like that, and, ah, that's a problem. I will put them around here. They're in the shower, but they were going through rather than around because we put those um, extra pieces in. It's not a problem. In terms of the dormitory and the other patrols, that's not really going to affect our patrol routes because we're just going to go from one side to the other. This will mean, however, that the door's going to be automatically opened and closed pretty much constantly, um, which is not ideal. But we will put up and shut up, I think. There we go. Uh, there's an assignment there. And then dog patrols. We want one there, one there, one there. And one there. Oh, and also we, we need one there as well. Obviously, we will have to hire some more of these as well. We do need a guard that goes between the um, far left and the far right to guard what will be the nursery and that's most of the guard patrol set so in terms of staff we need a lot more uh, workers we're gonna hire um, a couple more cooks we're gonna hire um, one more doctor I'm actually gonna go over to uh, once again our lawn and increase that lawn just a little bit because we need some more staff we'll go up to about say 30 staff I'm going to get some more, actually we'll go up to 32 staff, and then what I am going to do, sadly, uh, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to fire some workers, just because I don't think we, we need those. So we'll finish this shakedown that we didn't do uh, last time. In terms of our intake, we will say filter capacity and minsec we will open up. So we're going to get a 10 grand payment in the morning just for those prisoners arriving. Um, obviously we'll have the extra money from them being here, so there's that. So that should be fine. Hopefully with that payment, um, we'll be able to decrease the loans and hopefully with the payment over time, we will start to uh, really reduce that. If not, what we can do is we can sell some shares and then pay that back and then get ourselves out of that debt. 
there's looks like a, a could be a couple of inmates here in the solitary mad hatter once again found tools drugs weapons or attack staff or the, the lot really the mad hatter um we've got uh, Kylie Moon here, uh, found drugs and luxuries as well, extremely strong and stoical. Um, it's a bit alarming that those have still got, oh, found uh, tools locked down, that's why they've got uh, cuffs on in bed. But alarming that CCTV is not functioning. Don't know why someone hasn't been assigned back to that, but hey ho. Um, let's just double check and make sure that we've got no interesting traits we do still have a trait there that's unknown the reason that we found out the majority of these traits is because of the phone taps the phone taps are uh, well our main source of finding out what is going on so there we are um so 34 minimum security prisoners that's quite good that's quite good indeed um i thought there was someone just in there but Thought I saw someone in the corner of my eye in around here, but uh, apparently not. So that's near as damn it finished searching, but I do want to make sure we finish searching this because that's generally a place of uh, high amounts of contraband. We're going to stop the search there just for everybody to get back and do their own thing. And um, the reason for that is we are about to receive a number of prisoners. So there we go. There is a boatload of prisoners. We now have uh, 10 grand. If we go over to informants, we can see that there are some traits. There's a snitch in there. So immediately we're going to have to put those over to uh, protective custody. Now... This is something that um, was is, was mentioned previously in a comment, and I don't think it really occurred to me. Now, obviously, we have a lot of um, oh, tough, quick, skilled fighter and gang member. Hmm, that's a fairly big intake there, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of intake. Um, yeah, what never occurred to me is although we're gonna have to build a family cell now for the low risk, that's not a problem. It's a quick job. What if we get someone that's a snitch? which we do have there what if they've got uh, a child well that's something I'm going to have to account for <laughs> probably family cells will be able to deal with that in the low risk but it's not certainly guaranteed so Violet Nighting Nightingale that is a strong name uh, that I can't pronounce because of my cold excuse me um, we want to put those over to protective custody. Right, okay. This is the problem with having a, a high fidelity microphone. You can hear every sniffle. Right, okay. So we're going to get a lot of um, people... Ooh. A recent high-profile gang case has implicated one of our minimum security prisoners as a high-ranking gang leader. They remained under the radar, but now everyone knows who they are. What? That is a new one, and... Ah. Heather Stevenson. Claims to be a vampire, faints at the sight of blood, sentenced to 22 years for multiple crimes including pickpocketing and torture. Legendary. Extremely strong, extremely tough, stoical, fearless gang member. Darn. That is suboptimal. So you are now going to be moved over to the normal security wing. Because that's really the only place that's suitable for you. Well, actually, that's not the case. There is no one. Uh, no, uh, There's no place that's suitable for them. But there's nothing much I can do about that. Right. Um... So let's crack on with the cloning of the family cells because we do need to get that done. Uh, I'm going to have to put on hold my plan for paying back some of this loan. Let's go to clone and we're going to clone these uh, family cells back here. So luckily we can clone them fairly efficiently. We can do one row and then the second and then the third. And then we can do the nursery, you see. And there we go. And then we'll do the rest later. That's going to be a lot of money. Um... Now here's the thing, we've got this gang member, there's the leader there, red gang member. The problem that we have is that, uh, well they're not volatile, We could, do we want to put them with the snitches? No, no that would be a silly idea wouldn't it? Um, 
locked down permanent, perhaps? No, because as, and as soon as we punish them, they're immediately the, the danger level's gonna shoot right up. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, there's no real solution to that problem, is there? Right. So basically, this area, this cell wing is gonna just increase in gang member size. They're gonna recruit a lieutenant. And they're just going to go from there. You can see there's several people saying they are not uh, not um, able to be moved to somewhere. That's because uh, Leah Wh uh, Whiteman, I'm going to end their punishment. They've had the stuff found on them. Same for Julia. And Nora can't be moved anywhere because there's currently no family cells. But that is being resolved. So that's fine. But the issue that we have is that it's not yet built. Hmm. Yes. And there we are. Gang members. A legendary low-risk prisoner. <laughs> Never seen that trip before. Where are they off to? Where are they off to? Almost certainly recruiting. We'll find out shortly. Yep, there you go. Look, recruited someone. Yeah, so this is now going to be a big problem. All right, well, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, it does say that three prisoners were unable to be assigned to cells. Um, that is mainly due to the punishments that have been handed out, plus the family cells. But once that's done... Should be alright. Let's just go utilities and servo door here. Uh, door servo, rather. I'll just cancel that off by right clicking because I'm an idiot. There we go. Prioritize that. And then we can get that uh, automatically. Uh, we can get that to open automatically. So there's our dormitory. For good or ill. <laughs> And cash flow is okay now. We're still on negative, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. There's that door servo in there. It's got connections. And connections. There we go. That should be connected now. So let's see what the status of our gangs are. Still only five. I don't know how... Vigorous they'll be in their recruitment. There's six. Okay, so it's quite vigorous. <laughs> um, let's just double check my theory. If I say punish, lock down six hours. What? Danger level's going up. Leader of one of the gangs, yeah, is currently being punished. Yeah, yeah, we, we expected that. Okay. So, yeah, we can't we can't punish when we can't keep them on lockdown. Um, end the punishment there, and that'll, that'll reduce the danger level. That's a problem we had previously, where because we had gangs on, even if this, obviously this this uh, prison here has no gang presence whatsoever. Um, but as soon as one of them kicks off, <laughs> the other one does as well. So, mm. that is a problem. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll finish off, hopefully quite quickly, the nursery. As well as the family cells. You can see there are now places for them to go, which is good. And we need to get some patrols extended, I think, up here. Because obviously we can have now people escape from dormitories and all that sort of thing. So we'll have to sort that out. So, still a lot of ways to go and still some problems. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. Two prisoners unable to be assigned to cells. Which ones? These two here. Requires solitary confinement. We'll end the punishment then. There we go. And that should be resolved. No. No, oh, there we go. We are now sorted. That's it. That's excellent. Okay, so because they can either go to solitary. Oh, sorry, they can't go they can't go to solitary because we don't have solitary. That's understandable. But I was gonna say they go to the holding cell, but we can't do that either because we don't have a holding cell. Okay, we'll build that quickly and then we'll see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>